نرحب جميعنا بالدكتوره لينا العامودي عبر زوم مدير تنفيذي في التخطيط والعمليات في المركز الوطني لرقابه على على الالتزام البيئي ونائبه رئيس في جليس. أتمنى صوتي يكون مسموع. Are you gonna, are you able to uh, hear my voice? Yes. Yes, perfect. أسعد الله صباحكم. Actually, أنا نادية العمودي أستاذ الكريم وماني دكتورة لكن سعيدة جدا بوجودي معاكم اليوم. Good morning for everyone. I believe it's still morning in your area. In Riyadh, it's almost 3 p.m. Uh, thank you for having me with you. Uh, I would like to um, uh, actually send you all the great uh, greetings from uh, from uh, Riyadh. My name is Nadia Al-Amoudi. I am the Executive Director for uh, Strategy and Operational Excellence uh, at the National Center for Environmental Compliance, where I am with you here to speak about this uh, center and the, the role of um, uh, saving environment in the very ambition uh, vision of uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Vision 2030. Um, I believe that before um, six years from now, um, the, the entities in Saudi Arabia were taking care of environment um, as a, let's say, small initiatives or personal uh, interest. But six years ago, the Minister of Environment and uh, Water and Agriculture decided to um, combine all these efforts under the umbrella of the National Environment uh, Strategy. And one of the main uh, initiatives out of this strategy was to establish five uh, centers to have the role of execution in the economy of Saudi Arabia. Uh, where each center uh, will focus on a specific certain area and um, uh, try to solve all the issues related to the to the environment and try to re to up level the performance of dealing with water, air, and lands. The National Center of Environmental Compliance, where I work uh, with them, uh, the focus area is the uh, the focus area is the entities in the economy of Saudi Arabia, government entities, private sectors, and also uh, the non-profit organizations. What we do is to what we do is try to guideline all these entities in order of uh, raising the level of uh, environmental per performance. And uh, of course, to raise the awareness of all these uh, of all these sectors, the government sectors, uh, the um, private sector, and also the nonprofit uh, organizations. I believe you can see the presentation. Um, it's a very short presentation, but I have a lot to say about the envir environment uh, center in Saudi Arabia. It's just established two years ago from now, and um, uh, we do believe that. Um, uh, having uh, a very ambition road or, or message uh, for Saudi Arabia, for the economy, for the sustainability, we will always rely on a good caliber. And I believe you as Saudis studying outside and coming with certain knowledge uh, will be a very um, good helper and uh, you will be the asset of all these centers and the, the, the units in Saudi Arabia who are speaking about the environmental uh, compliance. Um, if you move to the other uh, slide, I will um, speak uh, briefly about the vision and the, uh, the mission of, these, uh, of the center, NCEC, the National Center of Environmental Compliance. Actually, we do believe that uh, the, the compliance is a responsibility for everyone. But what we do is to uh, raise the awareness and work with everyone to keep this level of performance. Uh, that's why it is part of our mission, is to work with everyone and all the entities in Saudi Arabia to raise up this level of environment. 
I would also would like to highlight the names of the other uh, five centers in Saudi Arabia where they are all working together to save, uh, to raise up the level of saving environment. The National Center for Environmental Compliance, where I told you it's focusing on the private sector and the economy and also government and non-profit. non-profit. And then the, the National Center of uh, wild li- Wildlife and also the National Center for waste management, and I noticed that uh, the waste management is also mentioned in your sessions for today. Uh, and then we have, it's, it's a sister entity for us, where uh, they manage all the waste in Saudi Arabia, and we believe that this is also could be one of the um, main income for the economy. Uh, the National Center for Meteor- Meteorology and the National Center for Vegetation uh, uh, cover. They are all work together in order to achieve a very uh, uh, main road in the uh, Saudi uh, vision of 2030. Actually, um, I would like also to highlight the Saudi Green Initiative. It's not in my presentation, but I just uh, remember it since we are speaking about the vision of 20 Saudi 2030. Uh, I believe that Every one of you knows about the Saudi Green Initiative and the Middle East Green Initiative, where it's um, led by the uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman uh, himself to 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 uh, to maintain the 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 environment and to solve the climate change or try to enhance the climate change uh, issue uh, in the Middle East, starting from Saudi Arabia. Um, I don't know to what extent uh, you know about this uh, um, uh, initiative, the Saudi Green Initiative, but it's, um, if I would say uh, briefly about it, it's to oversee uh, the Saudi Arabia work in, 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 in solving this climate change under one umbrella with the clear, defined goals. It's also working on... Um, unify the efforts of government and private sector, uh, identifying and supporting opportunities for collaboration and innovation uh, in this field. Uh, the Saudi Green Initiatives also um, uh, grow the green economy. Uh, the first wave of more than 60 initiatives announced under this SGI in 2021 represented uh, an investment of over 700 billion. Also, the SGI is accelerating the green uh, transition and be a global leader in the implementation of the circular carbon economy approach. And uh, under this field, there are a group of Saudi people who are uh, held a very, very unique ambition uh, study. I would love to share it with you, of course, uh, of course, there is a lot to, to be uh, to be used from your side uh, uh, from this study. Uh, SGI also is improving quality of life and protecting the environment for the benefit of future generation in Saudi Arabia. Uh, SGI is doing all this by reducing emissions, uh, greening the Saudi Arabia, trying to protect the land and uh, the sea. Under the NCEC, uh, and I will end by this, and I would love to receive any questions from your side. I don't know if this is part of the uh, of the session today, but uh, the NCEC uh, are implementing, the NCEC team are trying to implement 13 uh, executive uh, regulation uh, to, to, to save, to actually to monitor the uh, the pollution in the air, land, and water um, uh, to enhance the level of uh, environmental emer- emergency in the in the whole kingdom, and also to try to monitor the noise pollution and lighting pollution. Um, it's 13 executive regulation uh, divided by four core. Uh, aspects from the from the from the work that NCEC does. Uh, I wish you all the best, and um, I really would love to listen from your side. <laughs>